and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis midrange that we're going to go ahead and play over in ranked today. That's uh, so the R next to the deck list stands for. This deck is from a viewer and subscriber of the, the stream, Lord Draxis, who has been having a lot of success with it. They said that they went 7-0 and in the competitive metagame challenge this past weekend with the deck and was talking about it on the Discord channel and wanted me to try it out. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and give this one a spin. Um, yeah, we're basically a more aggressive mid-range deck. Instead of trying to be real controlly and grind out our opponent with Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and use enough removal to take out every single possible thing our opponent has, we're going to be more proactive and just try to um, get our opponent on the back foot with the help of cards like Knight of the Ebon Legion, Dreadhorde Butcher, and Thief of Sanity. And once they're on the back foot, then our powerful Nicol Boluses are going to be even more, um, I guess, powerful for another world word, or like even more useful, um, even more impactful. There we go. That's a good word. They'll be even more impactful uh, whenever our opponent is just trying to survive. And then we bring those um, powerful mythics down. So this one looks pretty interesting. Uh, we have a few new other new cards here. We got Mu Yanling which doesn't look like she fits at first because she's mostly a defensive planeswalker with the tick up ability and we're, we're being a little bit more aggressive deck so it doesn't really look like it fits um, per, like you know particularly well but what she does is you know, like, so she makes it diff more difficult for creatures to block your cards like Dreadhorde Butcher or Knight of the Ebon Legion with that with the tick up ability and plus they lose flying also so if they had a flying blocker for your thief you get to get through but it kind of it's we're probably going to be doing that minus three the second turn all the time with the four four so it's kind of like having um a three mana four four flyer token on suspend like we suspend one and then it's going to come in to play so we'll try it out there uh, we have a couple Awakened Infernos as far as a new card as well at the top end. Uh, the Can't Be Countered Clause is very useful these days. Um, and uh, so that's definitely one. Uh, it's definitely a very good clause. Um, oh, okay, you got this idea from, from the Asian Avenger. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, we got some more bosses in the, in the uh, sideboard. Yep, got some of those in there. Um, I wouldn't mind a fourth war boss over there. I'm not so sure about the ether gust but they they're good against a lot of stuff like there's so many green decks around um we got a sarkin in here over the fourth dragon god we'll see how this sarkin plays um i know myself i would be really tempted just to be playing four dragon gods or having an angrath but we'll, we'll see how the sarkin plays over there and we got a legion's end in the side in the main deck which is a card you don't really see all the time in the main deck but is a very powerful card when your opponent has targets for it um there we go uh let's give this a try so this is this is one and so yeah lord draxus who you know who uh told me about the deck on the discord channel uh said go ahead and play this on over and ranked so that's what we're going to be doing let's see how it goes all right so sorry welcome everybody that was that was just uh joining in while i was doing that um and uh you know matthew good to Good dude, um, everybody. Uh, let's see, Helix. Yeah, I did enjoy the day off. Yeah, yesterday. Ha yeah, having a day off yesterday was was very good. Um, yeah, because I it been a, about two weeks, maybe a day more, right around two weeks straight of streaming with a with a couple twelve hour streams in there, and I also started. Um, kind of an exercise program uh, 13 days ago now. I've been doing it every day for 13 days. And I was just worn out yesterday. I just needed just needed a rest day. Um, and so, yeah, it was good just to, just to lay back and rest. And now I'm, I'm back, recharged, and feeling better. And so here we go. This is not a very good six-card hand. We've already mulligan once. Don't have red mana. Probably, probably be putting back the Dreadhorde Butcher with this hand, if we would keep it. We're going first. 
think I'm just going to go to five. Okay. All right, so definitely one night gone. Probably night hostage taker. Oh no, Butcher is very good, but at with the hand that we had, there wasn't like for that that six card hand. So the reason why I wanted to put Butcher back is because it wasn't guaranteed that we're going to be playing Butcher early, and playing Butcher late is not nearly as impactful as one of the other cards. You know, we didn't have any guarantee of having red mana at all, and Butcher's the it, if we weren't going to have red mana right away, Butcher's was a card that I would prefer to play late less than the other two cards. So they didn't. They didn't attack with the cutthroat, but then they didn't block with it either. More cutthroats. So the reason why I'm playing, I wasn't really planning on playing the butcher at first, but I'm deciding to play it because I guess I was a little scared of the of the wolf coming into play there. <laughs> yeah, Selvin, just every every day three to ten Eastern. I took it. I took a day off yesterday. Which I, I announced, like, if I'm taking a day off, I announce it on the Discord channel. Um, but every day, 3, three o'clock Eastern to 10 Eastern. Um... And so yeah, I took took a day off yesterday. First, usually I take about a, a day off every two weeks, about like twice a month. I take a day off. Let's see. Now that these are bad options. They both trade with the five four. Make the multiverse defiance has consequence. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah, I definitely need to watch the Spider-Man movie for sure. Your 
Vengeance is infuriating. Well, I hope they don't have another trickster. Uh, we need to draw the land. <clears throat> the land would have gave us lethal. We're not in, we're we're at the spot where we can't really just not play anything. That's lethal. Well, I mean, I could chump block, but we're not winning this. Good hand, triple cutthroat. Pretty good. We came close though. Mulligan to five and came close. Definitely want these disfigures. Want this other legion's end. Give me these ether gusts. Whoa, what happened? Serena just shut off there. Hopefully we get to sideboard. I don't know what happened there. I was clicking on stuff and they didn't like it. What's going on? I'm just going to force close it, try to open it up again. Um, I'm not convinced that Thieva Sandy is is very good in the metagame. I'm, I, I mean, I'm just not sure. It could be, but I'm not convinced that it is. Just isn't going to let me sideboard or play. Yeah, I think it's I think it's waiting for the sideboard timer to run out. I guess it's just not going to let me. Hey, Vimiat. Welcome. Well, this is a pretty bad game. Mold to five, game one, and then whatever's going on here. This has never happened to me before. I don't. Have y'all ever seen this happen? Don't really know what's going on. I'll try to reset it again. Your arena is locked up too. Our other... You can't play arena either. So is, is arena just down right now?
Okay, well, I'm back. I didn't get to sideboard, of course, but we're back. We didn't get to choose whether to keep or mulligan. It just automatically kept. Scatter, sabotage. Hey, what's up, boot? Thanks for resubbing there for being on a 35 month streak. Longest subscriber here since day one. Thank you very much. Um. Probably not really Lumasi, no. Um, the only Ley Line that I really like is the green Ley Line. You can play that one proactively. I'm not super big on any of the other Ley Lines for sideboard cards. So I wanted to wait and see if we could double spell with a Thought Erasure, but I guess they have a Cutthroat now. Do you need black mana? Um, hey Moxie, um, suggestion of a deck that's Demir, that's good in budget. I would probably recommend a deck that's similar to, uh, maybe similar to Grixis. But, you know, playing a lot of Demir stuff. Um, I don't have, like, a link to an exact deck. I think last format we played a couple of Demir decks. I think we played, like, a Demir discard deck. Why don't we have any black mana? There's 17 black sources. That's a little low in this deck with playing Dragon God. Which is Temple of Epiphany was just a swamp. There you go. Yeah, you have Thief of Sanity, Liliana, other staples. Yeah, there you go. That's a good start. Well, this game's lost. Like, no matter if we try to play something to counter it, they have lethal. If we don't play anything, we're dead anyway. 
All right, so lost because we don't have enough black sources in our deck. That's great. Bleh. Never a good feeling. Yeah, we just couldn't couldn't play our spells. All right, I would I would definitely recommend just getting that temple out of here and getting a swamp in here instead. Yeah, I, I don't. Not very comfortable. Seven like if I was playing this a lot, I wouldn't be very comfortable. Just only seventeen black sources for Nicobolus Dragon God. And how important black mana is with this kind of deck. Well, we still played both. Yeah, we still played both games there and lost Dr. Grendel, even though it was a... I mean, we didn't get to sideboard. We didn't get to... Yeah, we mulled the five game one, didn't get to sideboard, and then couldn't play any of our spells. But... I mean, I, I could list it as 001, I suppose, but we did lose. Both our games. I like our opponent's choice of basics. Some cool basics. Yeah, I... Uh, CW, yeah, I am planning on making an Abzan Legends with Kethis, but... Um, yeah, maybe sometime this week. It's not, like, immediately on the docket, but... That is a plan to make that deck. If everything was available in an M20 draft, what would be my first pick? Um, they're using these ops pretty liberally Let's see if they have enough to get this phoenix back have enough spells using these one mana spells i don't know i mean it'd probably be one of the mythics i don't, I don't know which mythic is the most powerful in in draft off the top of my head uh six mana chandra seems like she would probably be up there hey chief seth i missed you yesterday too So I'm being patient here. I don't want the knight to die to shock, lightning strike, lava coil, you know, like that kind of stuff. I don't want their removal, their red removal to kill my knight. So just kind of being patient here. I'm not activating it during my turn while I'm attacking. Because then it would. Yeah, we have 25 lands. All right, well, our one drop trades for two spells. We'll take that. Hmm. I am a god once again. My revenge 
will be painfully outsmarted you eons ago. All right, definitely like drawing the Dragon God here. Start cutting down their resources, which is um, something that the Phoenix decks really need. Because if we kill Phoenix, then hopefully they won't have as many spells to bring back. I was hoping that like if they were going to kill the Nicol Bolas, they'd be using like a Lightning Strike, something that would have killed the Hostage Taker. It's a little annoying. With the Acolyte of Flame. It's a good card. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. I should definitely be doing that during their turn. Um, but again, <clears throat> don't want the knight to die to an easy burn spell. I'm going to try to. Hostage take Phoenix and then cast it. Well, I guess now I'm going to hostage take Drake and cast it. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted. I wanted to wait to have eight mana before playing hostage taker. So Finale of Promise, they just have Lightning Strike and Shock as far as burn spells go, as far as I remember. Yeah. So Instant is only just Opt. Oh, I guess they got Blink of an Eye. I guess Blink of an Eye bounces that Drake again. Forgot about the Blink of an Eye. Hey, Guru. Cool. Cool, they didn't blink. Good. Go, Butcher, go. It's definitely better to be playing a good amount of removal with Butcher to be able to help get it through. That certainly helps. Must have gotten two good cards if they're ditching Lightning Strike. Must have had a different good one. Uh, another Treader Course. So that's all their ops. Pretty sure all their Treader Courses. This knight's going to be really hard for them to kill. Oh, well. That's going to be hard for me to kill. Ooh. Hmm. So I, I was going to be able to make them trade, you know, with the knight, because the knight could have been lethal. 
Um, I'm not going to activate Knight, though. Knight's still going to be lethal next turn, but again, I don't... I want to try to protect Knight from Strike, Shock, Coil, all that kind of stuff. Ethergus is great here. Very good against Phoenix. So is Cry the Canarium. Fry kills Big Drake. Uh, dress it something. Yeah, no, either guess is probably worth it. There's just so many green decks everywhere. I think that, I mean, I don't love Ether Gust as a card. But honestly, with this metagame, it's, it's definitely worth it. Don't love Butcher, don't love Thief. Um, Sarkin and Moo. Basically, Sarkin and Moo can make 4 fours, Which, if they have Coil, you know, like Sarkin and Moo are very bad against Coil. But they could just make 4 fours. But yeah, I'm, I am all for taking them out. Because um, Thief is just always going to trade down to like their shocks and strikes and stuff. So is Butcher, but Butcher maybe get gets a hit in. Chandra's really expensive, but Chandra does exile. So we can use Chandra to exile Phoenix. I'm going to keep one Thief in. I'm not going to cut them all. I'll keep one, because if you do hit with Thief, it's very good. But I guess Thief still... Yeah, I should just cut all the Thieves. Thief still fills their graveyard and everything. I should just cut all the Thieves. Bacon Bolt, huh? So they have the Flame Sweep War Boss combo, just like I have the Cry of the Canarium Thief of Sanity combo. Hmm. I do kind of want this card. But we also need land. I guess I'm ditching it. We need land. Hey, JMS. Siler, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that sub. Everybody, let's get some hype in the channel for Siler there. Thank you very much. Question is, I've, I noticed you often play your last land emptying your hand. Do you think it is better to win basically able to play land next time you draw into more? Or do you think it... Or do you just do it to play faster on Arena? No, I definitely don't do it just to play faster on Arena. I'm doing it because there are... Like there's different reasons to have like all that all those man all that mana. Um, whenever you're playing a card like Nickel Bolus the Ravager, you want a lot of lands. But specifically that last game, we had the one drop in play, and so all the lands we could have with the one drop that pump is very good. 
But you just never know, like... Like, I don't, I don't think, like, the bluff with, like, ha keep one land in hand to bluff is, is a very successful strategy. But you never know whenever you are going to, like, I don't know, draw, like, pl have a nickel bolus, play that, then you draw other cards. And a lot of times it's, you know, depending on the different deck, there's different reasons. But a lot of times it's more useful to be playing your lands than, like, keeping the one land in hand to bluff them kind of thing. I will return one day. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. All right, so they can kill Thief or Knight. Can't kill them both. But playing Thief and Knight may make it a, a better chance that Nicol Bola stays alive and lets us transform next turn. Yeah, Thief is just all... Like, they, ha they have way too many burn spells for Thief to stay alive in this matchup. I should have sideboarded it out. Altogether. Yeah, Bacon Bolt can kill the Ravager, right? Uh, actually, not right now. It's only going to do... Oh, it counts Exile, too, though. So it would have dealt three damage right now. So, yeah, it would not have killed Ravager yet, I don't think. No, I didn't take out... No, the Butchers are still in there. So, yes, I could activate the Dragon God to grab a Butcher. Um, yeah, I thought about that, actually, right after I was attacking. I was like, I'm probably going to draw a, a Butcher, and then I just didn't play it. Gonna take the Kefnet. We still have, you know, the four power flyer in there. All right, one and one. Even using the one hand, the yeah, the, keep the one land in hand to bluff yourself, but then it's caused turns where you couldn't do as much as you wanted to the next turn. Yep. Yeah, that's what that's how I kind of feel about it. I've just basically have played enough that it's it's bitten me way too much. There are, there are times like where you know there are there are times like where I'll keep the land in hand or keep multiple lands in hand, but it's much rarer than just playing out all the lands. And whenever you like as somebody that, that plays a lot, you can you can definitely tell whenever the opponent's just keeping a land in hand. It's not it's not a very good bluff, basically, because it's so common that you see it so much that you can it's pretty easy to pick up. So I don't think that the, the bluff equity is worth it. Jund dinosaurs.
All right, so our knight traded for a three drop and a four drop. Not bad, not bad. All right, so we're going to take seven here. But then we'll, we can either have Dragon God kill the Regisaur or we can hostage take her it. Let's go hostage taker. So we don't have to shock. Hmm. Well, we can't Dragon God the Ceratops. So might as well play this Rotting Regisaur. We're going to have to discard a Dragon God, though. But I, that's all right. We got two of them. Illegal attacks. Hmm. So either Gus doesn't stop Ceratops. It's good against a lot of other stuff in their deck. Noxious Grasp is great. <laughs> Illegal attacks. <laughs> um, yeah, either Gust. Not so good against their 7 6 or Ceratops. Probably still worth it, though. I think Awaken Inferno is too slow here. Uh, same thing with Mu. The creatures are too big. Right, or do I want Chandra? Probably not on the draw. Our creatures are just really big. This could be a little tough. Ugh. Definitely still wish this temple was a swamp. Wouldn't have to be shocking in all the time. Is this deck stronger than the Grixis control deck? I'm not sure. I'm planning on playing a Grixis control deck tomorrow. Hmm. But I've been pretty happy with this deck so far. You know we're we're one and one, but our our loss we didn't we really didn't get to play magic.
Hey, Ziet. Yeah, I haven't... Yeah, we're going to be playing Gruel Dinos up here. I, I myself have not played any... Huh, they mistapped. Yeah, they mistapped there. They could have just played their Galta also. What I'm saying is I have not actually played a Marauding Raptor deck at all with since M20 came out. I haven't played a single one, so I feel like I'm due for that. Um, hmm. Yeah, that doesn't go back to their hand. Um, so am I gonna ether gust or butcher, or both? Do I want to do ether gust butcher? Probably need a thought erasure. Dread Horde Butcher isn't very impressive. I guess six mana Chandra. Well, yeah, on the play, six mana Chandra is going to be more reliable too. So I guess we're going to be taking out the Butchers and putting those in. But I guess maybe we want Butcher on the play. Probably not. Butcher is just too small. What else are we playing? Playing a Sarkin? Disfigure doesn't kill the 2 3. Disfigure just doesn't kill anything. This is just kind of un unfortunate how this line is lining up. We just don't have quite enough removal for big things. I don't I don't really dislike the cards that we're playing. I like the cards that we're playing. It's just this is just kind of like a tough matchup how the cards line up here. Wish we had like one more hard removal spell. Hey, what's up, Spanky? I wish we had, like, one more cast down. I like cast down a lot right now with the blue-green flash deck, how it kills the night pack ambusher and the 2-1. What's up, Hawkeye? Yeah, it, it may be Moo. I guess it's Moo. I think that's the card. I think I like Moo more than Sarkin, so let's go with Moo. Thank you so much for that resub there, Spanky. Oh, yeah, it's Prime Day today. Yep. Yeah, the Amazon Prime. It's Prime Day where they just have some sales on stuff. I looked at that today. I didn't really see anything. 
uh, for myself, but that doesn't mean there's not stuff for other people. So yeah, if, if you don't know about that, it's basically like where they have like 30% off a lot of stuff on their site. I like this card a lot, Death Touch. It's awesome. All right, Hawkeye, what do you think? What are we putting back? We're keeping Knight. And we're going to keep Ravager. I can basically see putting back Thief or Dragon God. Because, like, the three mana, I'm probably going to be activating Knight. But maybe not. Dragon God actually kills big things, where Thief is just, like... Thief's, like, after we stabilize is good. I guess Thief gets their dinos, though. All right, we'll put back Dragon God. Uh, I'm sorry, Kalua King. Basically, I'm just always live 3 o'clock Eastern besides, like, two days a month whenever I take a day off, which yesterday was one of those days. And, of course, if, if I'm taking the day off, I, I'm announcing it in the Discord channel, in the announcements on the Discord channel. Which, of course, the Discord channel is for everybody. Hmm. Kind of have to get rid of the Marauding Rod Raptor. Definitely wish I was playing Thief this turn. But I don't know. Their creature spells costing one less. Means they could go rip... Like, if I play Thief, they can go rip jaw plus draw a card. And then I'm in a pretty rough spot. I guess I shouldn't have Veil of Summer. Wreck me. Hey, guys, an F. So we're just in the exact same spot now. So I don't, don't really like Aether Gust. It's like we're just. We just. You know, it didn't really do very much for a card. Thief last turn was correct. I don't know. It slowed them down to turn, and plus, now I have more mana to be able to play with, to be able to use Thief. Wow. Well. I guess Flame Sweep gets us. Certainly wish I would have just ditched Thief and kept the Dragon God. Draw two.
You can't just take eight. Yeah, two mana, four, five, draw two, then one mana, seven, six. It's pretty rough. Taking the 2-3, it just isn't really going to help us. Having two 2-3s two against a 7-6 and a 4-5, it's not very good math. Alright, well, Aether Gust sucks. That card was horrible. Need actual removal spells. Get that card out of the deck. All right, we don't get turn one night, but we still have a good curve. Or at least we have, you know, Butcher and Thief. Can be good depending on the matchup. If we're playing against a bigger creature deck, we may get ran over again. These things are pretty small. Oh, hey, Knowledge. Good games there. GG's. Yeah, he beat us up pretty big there. Pretty good. Yeah, the, the flame sweep was definitely rough. I'm just I'm not convinced yet that Thief of Sanity is good enough in this metagame, that how, how strong the decks are. It's just it's very slow. I'm not convinced yet with Thief of Sanity. Do really, really like Knight of Ebon Legion though. Really like that card. Is would you rather main deck war boss over thief? I don't know. Don't. Yeah, I think I think my opponent just forgot to play a land there. Um... No Starbucks. If you if you purchase the mastery pass after you have some levels, you should just be able to to go back and gain. You should just automatically gain all your all the prizes for all the levels and everything. You should be good to go. So I'm willing just to, to trade the Dreadhorde Butcher for two one drops. 
in this kind of deck. Like the more creatures they have, the better for as far as like convoking and everything like that. So I'm I'm willing to trade Butcher for two. All right. Well, they are not. So that means that our knight's gonna grow. It's a good card to see. Day off was good. Yeah, I just kind of needed one. I was just... Uh, I talked about it earlier, but yeah, I was just kind of tired. Like, pretty tired after streaming so many days in a row. And I also started an exercise program about 13 days ago. Well, I'm on day 13 now, so... Just... With everything, I was just, just kind of needed a day, a day of rest. And... Very glad that I had that. No, I didn't do anything special. Um, I I went and got a burger from a local burger place. I guess um, it's called Burgers on Burgers in the Square or on the Square. I think it's actually in the Square, which is kind of weird. But that was very good. I don't think I've ever had Twisted Root Burgers. I know of the place. I've, I've heard of it. I've seen the place. I know exactly what you're talking about. I either have once or, or I haven't. I don't, I don't quite remember the burger if I have had it. I kind of feel like I've been there, though. I know, I know exactly what you're... I know the, of the Twisted Root. Yeah, I've definitely heard Twisted Root is very good. But I don't quite remember going there myself. I've just driven past it a bunch, maybe. But it was my first time there at this burger place. So it was my first time trying it out, and I really liked it. I think it's, you know, just a local thing. But I got a mushroom Swiss. I like our sideboard here for this matchup. Got a lot of good stuff. Am I supposed to just cut Butcher and Sanity? I feel like Butcher could, could do some good blocking. The Devil. I can see that. I definitely want to cut Moo, and I, I think Sarkin, because like by the time Sarkin we play Sarkin, like they're gonna, like the one damage shouldn't really matter by that point. All right, yeah, I'm going to just cut <clears throat> my two and three drop with bringing the Cry the Carnarium here. Duress does have, like, a ton of targets with History, Benalia, Conclave, Tribunal, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to bring in the extra Duress. I think that being able to get uh, Conclave, Tribunal before they Tribunal my things is very nice. Still wishing this temple was a swamp. Just forces me to shock so much. I 
I don't think this this would be an interplanar beacon deck. Um, not with the all the creatures that we have early and everything. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't play the Aspirant. I wouldn't be surprised either way. Let's get rid of this last card. Could just be a land, but it's a blue land. I was gonna say it could have been Conclave Tribunal. Really like the hostage takers in this deck. They've been very good. And um, and I do like having a lot of creatures in our Grixis deck, even though I was. You know, I'm not sold that Thieves Sanity is amazing, but I, I do like just having Thieves Sanity. I like having creatures in our deck. All right, we're two and two. Let's play one more match. There's just a couple of cards in the deck that I don't like, but I I like the idea of an aggressively slanted Grixis deck um, playing playing threats out before Nicol Bolas the Ravager and um, and Nicol Bolas Dragon God, and I like Hostage Taker. Been been very impressed with that card. All right, well, we have Mu and Sarkin in our hand, and Thief of Sand. We have a lot of cards that I'm still skeptical on in our hand, so this is a good, a good hand to kind of see how these cards play. I like it. Instead of Chandra Awakened Inferno, uh, there's a lot of things you can you can play if you yeah if you don't have Chandras, um, you could play if you want a rare you could play Enter the God Eternals if you want like another mythic that's similar you could play Ugin.
There we go. And I I think I do like Ugin more than Liliana. Just in general. May, maybe not for this deck? No, probably for this deck still. Ugin was definitely better last format with that minus ability. And still even probably with this deck, yeah. This this deck's going to struggle with like enchantments and stuff that Ugin could get rid of. Yeah. I understand why there's, where there's Chandra in here. I don't mind having Chandra. But as far as Ugin or Liliana... The Blue Red Temple definitely needs to be a swamp, though. That that has to change. There is not enough black mana in this deck right now. Wow, Legion's End is perfect. If only we had more black mana, though. Would have been nice to be able to Thought Erasure first, of course. Definitely would have been nice. Yeah, for how much black mana this deck needs, you 17's not not enough. Especially with all the bedevils and everything. anything so if we draw if we draw a land, we can play the Sarkin and make it so their creatures can't attack us. That's our hope. Ugh. Well. It's kind of been our biggest problem is casting our spells, like with our losses. That and the really big dino deck. Had either the really big creatures. Basically, if we just make this thing a swamp, and get rid of Ether Gust, and have like actual removal instead of Ether Gust, everything else has been pretty good. Oh, and, and turn Sarkin and Moo into real cards that help us. So basically, the, the problem with Sarkin and Moo is I don't want to play the, the, these things that make a token against three mana Teferi that bounce tokens. Don't want to don't want to do either that. Don't want to play either of those. Or you know, like they have the uh, yeah. Basically, don't want to do that. Oh yeah, Grasp kills. Yeah, Grasp is good. I missed that. We'll play Grasp over Disfigure. What am I cutting? Is it Knight of the Ebon Legion? 
This may not be a night matchup. My my problem with Knight here is you know, like we saw hostage taker over there from them and it's a very good card to hostage taker. I guess so is Dreadhorde Butcher though, but I do you like Dreadhorde Butcher against Teferi? It is not my day with mana today. Not my day. Yeah, Rankler, I'm feeling good. Just the trick for this. The thing is, is like the our losses here have been they've been like matches that we haven't been able to actually play magic because of our because of different reasons. Meditate. Uh, mostly prepare. land based. Yeah, just land based. So when we when we've actually been playing magic and playing you know lands and spells, our deck's been very. Effective. Let's slow this. Down. Just hasn't happened too oh, often. I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, I, looking at this, we we have all of our shock lands, which is good, and we have one less check land, so that's that's good. We have all the shock lands. We we've just been pretty unfortunate so far of just drawing check lands all the time in a few few uh, spots. Here we go. We can't instant speed anything because it's a fairy, so we'll just cast down this right now. Cool. No, I am not making this up as I go. Not out of it. Don't worry, I got this. I gotta have like three more lands in hand. Got it. 
That's not so good. Time. All right, that's good enough. All right, so I'm going to play one more. Usually I play five matches, but we had a couple of those matches were just not not anything we could control. Um, you know, mulligans, not being able to sideboard, all sorts of stuff. Let's change a couple of things. Let's... One, get another swamp in here over this temple. Two, replace Sarkin and Moo with playable cards. Um, let's get let's get another cast down. And an Angrath. All right, either Gus out. Maybe a, what do we want for the sideboard besides either Gus? We need maybe just another duress and another legions in. Or another fry. We'll do another fry. Hey, Soro. Welcome. No, give me an Enter the God Eternals on the side. Or another Taker. Actually, I want another Taker. Yeah, give me another Taker over here. Hostage Taker is great. In certain matchups. Yeah, give me another one of those. All right. Let's try one more with a couple little small changes. Yeah, I was actually thinking about Contempt there also, but no, let's get this Hostage Taker in here. Anticipate in the deck? No, I don't I don't think the deck needs to spend the turn just kind of spinning its wheels with Anticipate. I think if you'd want to play a card like that, a card selection card, I think Discovery would give you a better option because of the back half with Dispersal also. All right, Swamp's looking nice. I think Carnival is maybe a little too situational or low impact. We'll get Butcher going. I think we can wait another turn before we thought Erasure. Because three mana usually isn't like the most impactful turn for Grixis decks. But four mana, you start getting the Nicol Boluses and everything like that. Cool. We can thought Erasure whatever they want with the Narset. Elder Spell? That one doesn't. Training. This is kind of cool. A Grixis Walker's list. I think it maybe let's see two cast downs I just put in a third probably should have put in a um what no 
I should put in one uh, Tyrant's Tyrant Scorn. That's what the name of the card. I couldn't. I was blanking on the name of the card. I should, should probably instead of third cast down actually one Tyrant Scorn. Come on! Impossible. Well, playing the Acolyte of Flame just gives them something to Elder Spell right now. Next turn, we can go, like, Acolyte of Flame minus Thought Erasure. Ugh. Yeah. Chandra recurring Thought Erasure is pretty nice. My foot just fell asleep. I suffer for your cause. I have other schemes to attend to. We'll get the five damage upstairs. <sighs> Won't lie, I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Even though we could play the big Chandra and give them an emblem. Remember that spell. Let's get rid of this Elder Spell first. That was a very good Dreadhorde Butcher. Oh, they're so cute. We got this one under wraps. I have other plans. If you have oh, you seen the Cavalcade decks? Yeah. Yeah, seen the Cavalcade decks. Um, you know, just play, you know, playing against them. I'm not, I haven't been like the most impressed with them, but they, they look good at times. But they're not my favorites. Yeah, Chandra Tribal. Someone's getting a little sweaty. Go get him, buddies. How the cat claps whenever your opponent concedes. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah. Definitely considering doing a new run with Grixis League. That's something I'm sure I'll do before, you know, before rotation in the neck in, in the upcoming weeks. Um, I have a Grixis control deck tomorrow that I wanted to play. It wasn't. It's not Grixis League. It was just kind of regular Grixis Control. All right, we're, all right, we're facing Control. Let's get these duresses. Um, Elder Spell, Fry, War Boss, Garret of Legion's End, one cast down, two cast down. 
All right, all the cast down. Um, everything else is pretty good. Maybe we don't need war bosses in the sideboard. Oh wait, I can take out hostage takers. Okay, there we go. Hostage taker can go out. I take out one knight. Okay. Ooh. Well, I like Angrath a whole lot. You know, Angrath's gonna certainly at least make them discard a card, lose some life. And then they have to answer it immediately, otherwise they're just gonna have to keep on discarding, losing more life. And then it's also just protection against if they start playing Thief or anything like that. So this hand, we're either putting back Thief or Bedevil. We definitely want to keep the other five cards. Um, Thief on the on the draw, it's likely that they just have some kind of removal spell for it. And so I could kind of blank that removal spell for the time being by taking Thief. But of course, you have the, the Thought Razor also. Or we just don't have any protection against the Planeswalker by getting rid of the Bedevil. I think we're gonna. I think we'll do that. We'll get rid of the Bedevil. Also, Bedevil doesn't have a card style, so we'll get rid of that. We don't know. We don't know exactly what our opponent brought in. Also, of like things that we may really want to Bedevil, but it's not. It's not just the Bolas cards. Like we saw, like for example, a three mana Chandra could be a thing that we really want to Bedevil because otherwise, three mana Chandra be re recasting discard spells and stuff like that and removal spells and other things oh awesome Delotrius very good good job yeah I I really like widespread brutality that card is very, very strong. Really like that card. A lot of different ways to go with Grixis. See, if we had Bedevil instead of Thief, we would just Bedevil this Narset. Instead of Thief getting bedecked. Put thoughtfulness before action. It's unfortunate. And Angrath wins the game. This card's great. Never seen water burn. No fire, no steel. Yeah, get out of here, Nickel Bolas. Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinary. All right, Chandra's a good one. Shiver my horns and hammer. Hmm. No fire. All right, so we got definitely got pretty punished for getting for keeping thief instead of bedevil this game. You know they had multiple cards that only dealt with thief that didn't do anything else that we could have blanked. But I guess the fire's out. maybe we wouldn't. Oh well, yeah, we still would have discarded the nickel bolus. Chandra's good. Uh, no, we, you can see on the left-hand side the 
the order of the decks and everything. So no, this is our this is our first deck for the day. Discard coming through clutch. Getting rid of those things. So should I get Chandra or Nicol Bolas? Chandra, we can give him that emblem. Witness start giving him emblems, or we start draining cards with Nicol Bolas. They could have Elder Spell in hand. That could be their card in hand. Which I guess I should give him emblem again, if that's the case. That's also a good point. I can't really draw an extra card with Narset in play. All right, it was Elder Spell. It's unfortunate. This was overwhelming. But we got the emblem going. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have just gotten another Ravager to play around Elder Spell. I did not play around Elder Spell. Might power. Getting Ravager would have made them discard that last card. And I would have kept the 4-4. Four -four. That certainly would have been the better play, as it turns out. Yep. Should have gotten Ravager. <laughs> yeah, our land our our land draws have not been good today. Yeah. Yeah, the the not flooding out and you know drawing twelve lands, that would have helped. Ugh. Our deck's been pretty good though. Besides besides like the, all the games that we've played where we haven't had any lands and haven't been able to play spells and that game where we drew twelve lands, we've been basically winning all the other games. Definitely like this hand. Really hoping no sweeper over there. No cry of the canarium. No ritual of set. So they, they probably have, like, the two-mana removal spell here, right? Like a cast-down kind of card. Yeah, we'll, we'll duress. This is just our best play against Cry of the Canarium. Wow. Two Cry of the Canariums? 
This is like a perfect hand against me. So basically everything's going to be one for one for the most part. Hey, what's up, Jelly? Oh, I'm getting the Thought Erasure so they don't get that Surveil in there, too. I'm not that scared of Narset. Thanks for the cheers there, Jelly. Yay, no ritual set. So honestly, for going three and three, our deck did, did very well for going three and three because we really had some like bad bad luck things that we couldn't really control with our losses, well, with, with two of the losses, uh, where we didn't get to really play magic. Um, you know, we had, uh, like our first game, like really it was basically three and two because our first round we just mulliganed to five and then got disconnected and so, and couldn't sideboard and couldn't decide whether or not to keep the hand. Like we just came back in and, and it was turn one. So like that, that like wasn't, and then, you know, we didn't have, didn't have black mana after that. Um, but we fixed, definitely fixed the, uh, the temple. I'd certainly recommend taking out that temple for the swamp. Um, and yeah, I didn't, didn't really care for Moo or for, definitely didn't care for Moo and didn't really like Sarkin too much either. I think we'd want a Tyrant Scorn in here. There we go, over that cast down actually. Whether or not you like Angrath, I really like Angrath. I think it's good in an aggressive shell. Um, good way to, to protect, like, Thief and, and Butcher for a turn with, like, the Minus and everything, too. Um, I like Angrath more than Sarkin in this kind of deck. Uh, that could certainly be something else. If you want another Hostage Taker, want to enter the God Eternals, um, you know, want anything else. But I, I like Angrath myself, but that's, that's certainly a flex slot kind of thing. Um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't play Chandra too much. I'm not sure if we need both big Chandra's, but they help against control, but I kind of feel like we're good against control. So honestly, maybe that's that's a spot like where we could lower the curve also. Like maybe, maybe we don't really need Angrath and the, the big Chandra's and lower our curve. But being able to have like these cheap things, even though, you know, like Thief of Sandy is the kind of card that like I, like I was talking about, I'm not I'm not sold that it's just like absolutely amazing in this format, but it's good to be playing Thief and Butcher and like these cards that your opponent's answering because they do get go out of hand. It's like cards that they're using their removal spells on to help free up your Nicol Bolas the Ravager and Nicol Bolas Dragon God to finish them off. So I definitely like playing those kind of cards. And 
I think there's a lot of good things in this kind of deck. Um, yeah, Doom, Whis Doom Whisper is another option. I I would prefer Angrath there, but yeah, Doom Whisper is another option there. Um, but have a lot of good stuff going on with this deck, honestly. And um, the big thing, changing that swamp, changing that uh, temple into a swamp. And I was, you know, I was definitely willing to try out Mu Yanling. Wanted to see how it would kind of play. But with playing those games, there's basically never did I ever want a, a Mu Yanling. And I, I don't think that that card should be in the deck. And that extra five mana card, you know, Sarkin, Angrath, Doom Whisper, like whatever you want to play there, that's kind of uh, up to you. Could definitely see just another Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker was really, really good for us. Wouldn't mind seeing another one of those. But there we go. Um, yeah, if you like War Boss over Thief, that's also perfectly fine. Like, they're, they're very comparable cards. Um, I'm not sold that we need War Bosses in the sideboard. That, like, this is, like, an upgrade that, like, really upgrades the deck too much kind of thing you know like that th these could be sideboard slots that could be better better used to help um different mat you know getting interaction for different matchups uh basically i'm not i'm not sure we need like because like against control decks and against like nexus or decks like where you really want to clock um i'm not sold that we have like enough cards that we really want to take out you know like if we're taking out like the cast downs the legions and the tyrant scorns we could probably have better interaction, you know, like duresses and something else than like war bosses. I'm not sure if that's like a huge upgrade um, over just other, yeah, like I said, interaction that you can have in your sideboard. But still a pretty good Grixis deck here. Yeah, it did well. Um, No, I don't think we would want to play Spawn of Mayhem. No, I think that Spawn of Mayhem would most most always be a four mana card and i don't think you'd want that um yeah i can update the stream decker list with the with what i used here um yeah you could play yeah you could play negates instead of the goblin if you'd like it's kind of you know like that's the thing there are so many good cards that you could be playing it's kind of a preference thing you know like how how do you want to play uh you know it's it's that kind of thing you know it's not it's not like negate is better than war boss it's not like war boss is better than negate it's, everything's situational you know it's, it's it's what what plan do you want to have and go out and execute it kind of thing so that's what i was kind of talking about just giving you some some different ideas of if if you don't like any specific card um that kind of thing all right so that's Grixis midrange so if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it uh please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there if you did i'd appreciate that but thank you so much for watching Grixis Midrange here, um, and I will see you for another video.